Everyone has their own plans here. I still need to make a claim on these guys. There we go, perfect. So I guess I could declare war on them, but as you can see at the moment, they're actually in his territory. I might, maybe I should just let them take it. I have a claim on it, I can declare war on them, and then we could take all their land and vassalize them and <laughs> Just vassalize another one. But really I can't, my diplomatic relations are too high right now. So we're just going to take land from now on. But I think we're doing quite well, you know, we're at 1560, uh, 1460. And uh, we've managed to basically take half the map already. Um, of the Inca lands, even if they are vassals, they're still ours. We're called diplomat. Okay, we have him back. We can't fabricate any more claims. Okay, so there's no more covert operations for him to do. We've got to wait for that war to finish. He sent his armies down there. Up into the mountains, okay. So he's taken that, so that should be the end of that war. Uh, Great Temple of Poa. Word has reached us that a local chief in Poa has begun to construct an ambitious new temple for the main Hawker god of his tribe. As often the case, this Hawker also happens to be a mummified ancestor of his own lineage. While the chief seems content to acknowledge our authority, it is hard to shake the notion that he is attempting to build a bigger power base for himself in Poa. Okay, uh, nationalists rise up, gain authority, or we could lose authority. I think we should probably just let them rise up. Yeah. There's only four, we have eight. Okay, we'll let them rise up and uh, we'll go deal with them. That's kind of fine. Uh, then the coastal desert as well. That's not too bad. Any rivers? Uh, no, if we come from here, we're fine. So that's good. So we'll just go there, wait for the morale to go up and then we'll finish them off. Easy as pie. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, so he's only at 49%. Uh, we have 34 authority. It's going to take a while, but then again, it takes a while for the Europeans to get here. So it kind of gives us something to do, I guess. It might be too easy just to take over, uh, but this will give us something to do until the Europeans get here. Okay, so the marriage has ended with them. So we should win that quite easily. Perfect. Excellent. And uh, head back to here. Haraz. These are still increasing. That's not gone up too much. That's good. I was a little worried that would go up a bit too much. Uh, I mean, maintenance, we should put that down. Uh, okay. Inflation's a bit high. Right by two. It's not high enough, though, to try and reduce it. Do Kama and Jojo. Okay. So we try and take that, but there's no point, it's our vassal. Um, Cusco, though, is still not won. 61%. Uh, are you winning your war? They're beating Paco, apparently. Don't really know how I, I'd like him to win. I kind of just end it with you know, North versus South. Would be kind of cool. We could obviously at some point axe these guys. Designate March, we can make it into a March, Annex Vassal. Um, we probably don't want to, though. We want to take the Incan Empire, uh, 1461. So just two more years and we could actually start to vassalize them. Okay. That's ten years. Um, yeah, perfect. Rebel rising, yep. They're starting to get powerful. Harsh treatment boosts stability. Uh, we'll do harsh treatment because our, our army is more at the moment. Things are looking good for our Quarto Empire so far. Things have gone well. Things have kind of gone our way, actually. Nothing really bad has really faced us. No real tests. Uh, this religious reform, trying to get this done as quickly as possible, is probably going to be the biggest test. I don't know what interesting things can happen from those events and stuff. It sounds like they've added in a few, maybe, surprises. Especially for the Aztec one. The Aztec one sounded actually quite interesting with the Doom and stuff. But I wanted to try out the Incan one because I felt a lot of people would probably play as the Aztecs. Well, many people maybe wouldn't play as the Incas. And I kind of find the Incans are quite interesting. He's still winning against Paco, but he's losing against Cusco. Yeah, Cusco is plus 73. Okay, that would be interesting if he wins. Yeah, 
Yeah, they still wouldn't accept vassalization. Uh, corruption. Corruption is one of the most common and frequent factors of political and economic life. Try to eradicate the problem. Uh, again, free inflation. How much diplomatic power does it cost to do that? I think it's more. It's only, yeah, just try to eradicate it, then we can do stability. Boost. Done. It cost us twice to uh, get rid of the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, inflation. We have to click it twice, so that's 150. Uh, so that seems like too much compared to the other one. And the rest there is going to continue to be a problem for us. Yeah. There's not much I can do about that. I could just, you know, the MS is going down. It looks like slowly. Slowly but surely. 9.1. Yeah, it seems to be going down. Thirty-seven. <laughs> we haven't even got one religious reform so far. Ah, looks like we'll be able to annex quite soon. Um, I definitely want to annex these guys because they've literally done nothing. Okay, core province, perfect. Excellent. Okay, so that's lowered down the unrest a bit. Very good. Um, influence. Designate March, uh, 12th of July. An opinion of us of 190, because okay, so we need to increase that. So, improve relations. Then we haven't got to deal with the unrest and stuff. When you begin the game, actually, uh, making them as vassals is a really good idea. It means that when you bring them in, you haven't got to deal with all of the problems that you will get from things like uh, you know, the, this stuff, the unrest. It will just join your land, and it's normally very peaceful. Unless they've changed that since I last played. But when I last played, that was usually a really good way. Chark is in a bad position. Their war with uh, Cusco might affect the other war. Yeah, it has. Paca has now another push back. Ooh, that could, this could, they could both split up Chaka between them. And he could take uh, Wanka. That will leave Cusco maybe this and like this. Paca with this. And then me with the rest. <laughs> And once we eat up these two, we should be able to vassalize these guys. And they have nowhere to go anyway. They've actually been attacked now. Huh, this could be bad. We're making money. We have 205 gold. Okay, let's start to annex you. Annex him, perfect. Opinion of other subjects, in minus 30. Yeah, it's perfect. This, this is probably the bigger one, so we'll send. We kind of want to annex him. Uh, conquest against Cusco. So there we go. Cusco has taken um, the lands there. So we're going to have to go the heads with Cusco. Uh, he didn't take anything from Chaka. But Chaka is losing to uh, Paca down there. And he's allied with Paka, so we could end up, you know, if he takes all of Chaka, we could end up with both of them against me. Which could be interesting. He's allied with me as well. I'm his only hope. Vassalization, yes, yeah, still not. So this will take a while. Uh, when will it probably end? 19, uh, 1463 actually won't take that long. Ah, June the 1st. Okay, that's actually quite a good amount of time. Improve relations of these to hopefully get some enough. Kind of have that land connect all our lands together, which is quite nice. Okay, this is quite good. And we get also the cocoa from down here. Good old cocoa. We got wheat, wheat, and uh, wheat. Lovely. He literally just had grain everywhere. I'm getting a lot of money. We should probably build some stuff. I don't think we can actually build anything, can we? I don't think there's any buildings we can build. No, we don't have the technology. <laughs> we don't have the technology to be able to build, so uh, yeah. Yeah, actually doesn't help at all. But we're gaining a lot of money. Okay, Chamu, their uh, liberty desires have gone up, but they're going to be part of us soon. The House of Karakara is shaken. There seems to have been a misunderstanding regarding the heritage of the great-grandmother of Hyapolkan. 
It seems that she was a daughter of a lowly farmer from outside Quateau. Deny it fervently. Uh, acknowledge the fact. Well, we do have good prestige, so let's just acknowledge it. People love us anyway. It doesn't matter if my mother was a farmer. Okay, 960, okay, 1463. Let's increase that to full. Rebel Uprising. Uh, got these guys going again. Harsh treatment. We can just boost stability. Let's do that. Okay. Encourage divination. Make divination a fundamental basis of our society. Okay. Uh, what does it do? Stability cost goes up, but national unrest. Ooh. Yeah, let's do that. National unrest goes down. I like that. We have a bit of national unrest. Uh, too few rivals. Cusco, definitely. So Cusco has become our rival. Makes sense. But yeah. Who's his rival? He has no possible rivals. <laughs> Poor little Kajamaka. Oh, damn it. Uh, harsh treatment, yeah. Yeah, we'll leave it for now. I'm sure it's fine. Hopefully he just disappears at some point. Only 3.2. Yeah, it's basically gone now for that one. Uh, this is about to become part of our realm in July. Integrate in Chamu. Uh, excellent. Integration is a slow process. Diplomatic relations. Excellent. Culture accepted. Our subjects embrace Chamuan have finally been able to prove their loyalty. Excellent. Uh, incorporate Chamu. Excellent. Very good. Uh, take Jaja. Improve relations with Ikma. Attack Cusco. Okay. What would be the gain? Take Jaja as the best one. Gain five prestige. They're all just prestige, to be honest. Uh, so we'll click that one. So yeah, definitely our next goal is to attack Cusco and take the lands that we deserve. Um, our vassalization. Still no. Are you kidding me? Ah, let's improve relations anyway. What are yours at? They're still not at the level we want them to be. But yeah, things looking good. We just gained this massive army. Uh, which is one more than... Actually, three more than we need. But we're fine, it looks like. Yeah, we're still making gold. So actually, that's fine. We'll keep it. And unrest. Yep, the unrest is zero. Told you. It's a great way of gaining land. You just have to wait ten years. That's the only problem. So we're doing very well so far. Uh, air falls ill. Send for a train. Uh, for a train medicus. Lose 12 ducats. Okay. Yeah, we probably want to try and help him. Uh, how, how good is he? 232. Two. Well, it's better than me. It's, you know, it's better than nothing, to be honest. Send for him. We have lots of money. Ah, he tragically died. Let us pray for his soul. And we have no legal heir. What will happen? Uh, okay, Chocopoyo. Same dynasty as Chocopoyo. Uh, Kotoan noble succeeds to the throne. Okay. I didn't know we had the same uh, dynasty. Interesting. I kind of want to see what happens in Paca down here first before I attack Cusco. We have no diplomats actually at the moment. Yeah, they've never joined us. I'm just going to prove it anyway. These guys are fine. Still going up. Okay, so things are going really well, actually. We should be able to take out all the Incas quite easily and form the Incan Empire. What actual places do we need? Um, what places do we need? Cusco, Cajamarca, Hanoko. We have that one. Uno, Tahanaka. Okay. Uh, gift to the state. Okay, put in the treasury 12 ducats or gain prestige. Gain prestige. 12 ducats is basically nothing to us right now. And actually, we, we're suffering, a, we're suffering um, attrition. I wasn't even paying attention. Supply so limit 8, 8, 16. Okay, go down here. I guess it's in the mountains, so in the mountains you kind of low um, supply limit. Makes sense, recall them. 
Kajamaka. Okay. So Kajamaka like us a lot, but yeah, they'll never be able to become our vassal. Not why their tax is quite high. Ah, so the other ones have basically been destroyed. Just you guys left. We'll do that. It's been 50. 800 all of them at the moment. Okay, very good. So what happened if we declared war? Uh, Paka would join him, but my ally would not. So we'd have to face Paka and him. So maybe now would be the best time just to get them out of their wars. Let's look at the ledger. Um, so as you can see here, there's not many left. Us and Cusco, he has 10,000. Paka has 9,000. So that's uh, 19,000 men. Okay. Uh, Ikma would give us 5,000. So there you go. That would give us about 13,000, uh, 18,000. Um, Chakapoy would give us you know, 20,000. Yeah. So we'd have about 20,000. Huh. It would be pretty even, but uh, Pak is so um, concentrating on defeating Chaka, and they're going to be finished soon. We don't want him to get more powerful. That maybe it's best to attack now. I think it might be the best time to attack now, even if it means that they're allies. Yeah, if we could get him to join us, that would have been great. But I don't feel it's worth the you know the wait. We should attack Cusco as soon as possible. So that's what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do. I'm going to stop recording now. And I'll record next time. I'll be fresh and ready for the battle. Uh, we'll declare war on Cusco. We'll have to fight them on Paca. Hopefully we can try and uh, weaken Cusco. And that means next time in the wars when Paca gets bigger, we can then be fine. Rather than a strong Paca and a strong Cusco having the fight. So I hope you join me next time. Where hopefully we grow our Quato. Uh, it's not the most exciting series so far. Because we're just trying to grow. And uh, there's not many massive nations to be scared of. But you know what? That's kind of what's going to happen down here. It's going to be about developing our country and stuff, getting the religious stuff up, and waiting for the Europeans to come, and then trying to keep a stable nation, an Incan empire, at the same time. It's going to be a long journey, and I hope you join me. I've been NG Paradox. Good night, everyone.